Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing the Mortar and the Mage, which is today's daily challenge from Loon's Out of Front 5, as you might have noticed. So anyway, we're starting off here with three uh, apprentices. And one of them is 01, the other one are just 00. And yeah, we're just uh, going to let 24 go because we have no camo detection. I didn't intend to have camo detection there. What I want to have as soon as possible is a decent defense uh, with enough firepower and camo detection just takes away from that. So um, another 01 monkey uh, put there. Uh, everyone is 01 and um, yeah, now we have some 02 monkeys. Because round 33, yeah, you can't afford to let that one go. Uh, selling one of the monkeys, the one in the bottom, to uh, upgrade to 2 and 2. And after that, it should be pretty easy. So from here on out, uh, it is just adding more and more and more. Adding one mortar in the middle. At least I went for the middle because it's the easiest to click. You're going to have to micro it quite a bit, especially for round 46. So round 46 didn't really go too well for me this time. Uh, I had a previous playthrough where I um, lost no lives there. But in this one I think I'm going to lose some lives. But it's still okay. You can uh, you can do it perfectly. It was just that uh, yeah, I had a cat sitting in front of my screen. So it's pretty hard to micro them. Because uh, I can see. Anyhow, um, yeah, micro the, uh, the 3 and 2 mortar a little bit. And you should be fine. Um, anyway, adding on uh, the, or well, the two and three uh, apprentice is probably the best one you can have uh, for this stage because it does a lot of damage to this Moab as well as, well, just do a lot of damage in general to single t or to multiple balloons. Yeah, I do lose quite a few lives actually. 35 left, and um, I'm going to make more two and three. Uh, Apprentices because they are great at taking down uh, large groups of balloons as well as the Moabs in round 50. You have to keep track of those Anyhow uh, placing those three monkeys in the top right so that they can see as much of the track as possible and Upgrading them to a decent level two and three would be perfect and yeah, for some of them it will be too expensive. But anyway, we're going to go on these Moabs with the mortar. The mortar is the only thing you need to do at this point. You need to micro it uh, correctly. Because by doing so, you will have a much, much easier time defeating those Moabs. Uh, from, well, some moment on, and I guess that's ju just about now. Maybe, yeah, no, just about now. Uh, you don't have to uh, do the, mo the mortar thing anymore. I would still recommend it, but yeah, because you have enough of those uh, Dragon Breath uh, parentheses, you should have no problem with this. Um, by the way, all of the other ones are 2 and 2. No? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. So we have a lot of AoE damage, basically. I think they're all 2 and 2, yeah. And um, <clears throat> that one in the bottom, that the, the last one I built near the exit, that one is going to be uh, 3 and 2, uh, as you can see now. So it was just there to make sure that if a balloon gets through, that it will get sent back to the entrance. Unfortunately, it never ne I never needed it, so then that makes it kind of a useless investment. Uh, anyhow, uh, the big mortar now, 4 and 2. And <clears throat> By going for the big mortar, you have a much, much easier time against the big balloons. So uh, the Moabs, the um, BFBs and everything else that is coming your way, well, the, the, the round 63 would not be or is not a big balloon. But it is still very helpful for that. Well, it's extremely helpful for that. As you can see, it just blows up these big uh, clumps of balloons pretty easily. And yeah, it should be no problem. Anyway, just uh, continuing to upgrade and we're going to get one of the ultimates on one of the monkeys for uh, one of the apprentices. So the, the phoenix on one of them, because I wasn't sure whether I could do this without it. Uh, yeah, in hindsight, I'm pretty sure I could do without it. But yeah, well, I did it anyway. So here's your, uh, uh, well, your win. 
and I'm going to show you now what the first one looked like. So uh, I did this before the one that, um, that I just showed you. And this one actually went a little bit differently. Uh, it is going to take another five minutes or so. But you will see that the strategy is kind of the same. Except that I don't go for the 0-1 upgrade on the monkeys here. Um, well, not straight away. I first built four of them. And then I continue to build more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, some of them are set to strong, by the way. I uh, forgot to mention that, I think. Uh, I put the rightmost one to strong here. It is the same. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do is get the uh, zero two upgrade. Uh, the, sorry, the two and zero upgrade uh, as soon as possible. So the AOE damage, basically. And by having that, you can see that um, you have way more firepower all of a sudden, especially in these early rounds. And if you combine that with the uh, camo detection. You should have no problem with any of the runs, but yeah, well, it's pretty easy. Anyhow, another mortar. And yeah, it's also going to be pretty much the same as in the last one. Two and two upgrades, three and two upgrades. And at round 60, I believe, or 59, I'm going to upgrade to uh, the big one. So the four and two mortar. Up until then, it's pretty much uh, whatever. 35 lives here as well. Huh, that's pretty funny. That's uh, pretty random as well. It seems that, um, that that is my number for this uh, challenge. Yeah, although I could have uh, done much better. It's just that I, <coughs> I lost a lot of lives early game here because I built... Uh, well, I, I started with a different setup and that just wasn't a good setup. So here we go, the mortar picking off most of them. And yeah, as you can see, no lives lost there for the Moab. And yeah, we're going to just add a little bit of, uh, of firepower to the end of the track. Not the complete end, but as you can see that same little, well, corner. And I'm going to add three of them. And I believe I'm going to add one more after those three. So just like the, pre the, the other one, because this worked out perfectly. Up until round 65, and you will see what happens in 65. It's It wasn't very fun for me, but I guess it will be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's something that I really hate when that happens, but you'll see. But anyway, uh, this is just continuing on, continuing on. The, yeah, the, the large amount of Dragon Breath is really helpful. Uh, in, the, in the other one, I upgraded the mortar pretty quickly at round 55. And here I'm going to wait till 59, which means that um, I'm going to have some money to invest in some other crap. But uh, yeah, well, I don't know which boy we are, 56. It's all pretty easy. It's, uh, it's not a big deal at all. And as you can see, the Mortar doing most of the early work and then uh, the, the apprentice is just picking off everything. Which is great, which is great. This is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So I still have one of the, the apprentices in the, on the yeah, early track uh, set to strong because, well, it needs to be. Because otherwise the Moabs will get through, uh, well, without any trouble. Because the, I can't actually uh, kill the Moabs. Uh, before they reach the, the, that clump of uh, apprentices the second time. So I need to have one of them set too strong just to do some damage to the early Moabs. Because the damage to the smaller balloons are not, is not actually necessary. So as you can see, just going for a similar build. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not really that complicated after you know what you need to do. But this time I was still figuring it out. Uh, figuring it out. So um, it was a little bit of a bigger deal. So anyway, at this point, I know that I'm going to uh, going to win this. This is round 63. And yeah, we're setting up. Yeah, we have the ultimate on the uh, apprentice. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just get away with uh, making that uh, a wind monkey. I don't even know what it's called. And then this happens. 
crash. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Chee chee.